is Miss Natalie here. Today I wanted to show you how to use the Edit Shapes tool in a vector layer. One of the great things about those vector layers is you can uh, move lines and shapes around. You can edit them without losing any crispness. So we're going to start by creating a vector layer and I'm going to go down to the carrot that is next to the plus in my layer docker and i'm going to choose add vector layer so now i have a vector layer and i'm going to use the uh, bezier or bezier curve tool <clears throat> i click i drag i release and i click again to make one curve and then I'm going to click, double click to make my second quote unquote curve. Um, I'm going to make a couple of lines here also. There we go. Now I'm going to go over to the Edit Shapes tool right there, and I'm going to click on this Bezier curve. And you should be able to see there are the nodes. That's these little squares here. Those show the beginning and end of lines. And right here is the handle. It is the uh, dotted line with a, is that a circle? Looks sort of like a circle at the end. And that lets you change the angle of your curve, make it larger, make it smaller. Um, you can see that there is a handle on this line, and then there's going to be a handle over here as well. And actually, there's two handles that control this side of the curve. Uh, if I want to move the entire piece, there's a couple things I can do. One, I can click and drag and select all, and that lets me, oh, no. <clears throat> Usually it lets me move. Yeah, there we go. I have to pick up one of the nodes and then I can move it around. Um, click off if I just want to move one node. I can pick that up and I can move it here. And maybe I want to move this node there and choose this node. You can see it's chosen because it's red and move that there. I can move my handles around. Uh, another way I can move the shape, the shape, I'm sorry, the line, the curve, that's what it is, is by clicking on the curve itself and dragging it around that way. Now, if I want to move the whole thing, um, another thing I can do is click on the Select Shapes tool. This is another tool that only works in a vector layer. And that will give me the entire uh, piece that is together so I can move that like there. All right. Another awesome thing about this Edit Shapes tool is I can use it on straight lines. I can turn a straight line into a curve. See, it shows me the nodes, the beginning and end of the line. And if I click, you can see there's the little handles. And for this one, each node on a line will have its own independent handle and you can use the handles to make a curve or you can just click on the line itself and drag and make a curve that way. And you can select the whole thing, pick it up by one of the nodes and move it if you want. You can select one node and move that around. You can select the handle move that and you can do exactly what we did with the bezier curves and select shapes and move it there and now i have oh and you can also resize with this arrow too and the great thing again about a vector layer is you can resize without losing christmas crisp crispness sorry uh, whether you get it really big or really small it's still just as sharp as it was before and now i have a kind of lopsided uwu face that i think is super cute so go out 
<clears throat> add a vector layer, use the Bezier curve and the line curve in the Edit Shapes tool, and make some art.